segment on how to pump yabbies. Uh, this segment is going to be how to look after your yabbies, keep them fresh if you want to uh, keep them overnight or keep them for a day or so. Uh, so we're going to show you a couple of handy little tips that will hopefully uh, get you out in the water. So items you'll need is a, um, a bait bucket, like so. Uh, now you can pick from any of the uh, aerators, like this one here is a two-speed uh, power source, it's got D-sized batteries or you can also this um, alligator clip onto your um, car battery. Uh, your aerator standard battery, which is just D-sized batteries and that. And this one here I use as an air pump 240, uh, which you use while you're at home. And the stone I use is what they call a flexi air stone. Uh, they're, you can get them from uh, three different sizes, 75, 90 and 120 centimetres. So they're some of the items that you'll need. Uh, I get all my uh, products like that from um, Mackay City Pet Farm. They're in 49 Juliet Street. I'll pop in there and see you, Sean and Pauline Wade. They'll look after you and, and get you everything you need, spot on. So uh, I'm going to get going and show you how to uh, set these up. Now firstly, um, you need a cane creel. Uh, the cane creel, what that does, when you pump your yabbies, it gets you, lets you filter all that sand and mud out of those yabbies, and that's what you need. You can't have any mud or sand in your yabbies, um, otherwise what it does, it softens your yabbies and makes them die. So you need to have a, a cane yabby creel like that, and when you're pumping your yabbies, flush them all the time, wash them in the hole, get all the, the um, sand and mud out of them, so they're nice and clean, so if you have a look in, um, how nice and clean the yabbies are, they've got no mud, nothing on them, that's what you need, you don't, and as well as you can't have any dead yabbies, so um, any dead yabbies just throw them back, they're broken in half, you can't use them because they'll, they'll spoil the rest of the yabbies. So um, what I do there now is I um, have a little cat litter tray, you buy it down from the pet barn, and um, I'll just layer that with a couple of pieces of newspaper. Now this here will normally um, work for a couple of days if you store in a cool place, like I normally will put them, um, in, in the shed or somewhere like that where you can really store them nice and cool away from um, any sunlight. So um, I just lay a couple of pieces of newspaper in the litter tray like that. Then what you do is pour your yabbies and just scatter them all over the tray, all over the newspaper. Like so. And then what I'll tend to do is try and space them out a little bit. And if you want to, you can just layer a piece loosely over the top like that and they will sort of move in and, and it acts like, uh, like sand on top of them. They'll just sit in underneath there. And I, I've had um, yabbies like that. They'll last a couple of days um, with a little bit of moisture. You just gotta make sure you haven't got any sand or mud in there because it, um, it, it just softens them and makes them, uh, makes them no good at all. Okay, now the second way to keep uh, yabbies alive is a live bait bucket. So I've got a 20 litre live bait bucket. I'll go down and get 10 litres of uh, salt water, so nice and clean salt water. Um, and then what I'll do is, if I'm keeping them overnight or out throughout, you know, through a whole day, I'll use the 240 volt uh, air pump rather than the battery operated. That way you're just not wasting batteries. And that flexi air stone is a must because what it does, it's a bigger surface area, it creates more bubbles on top of water, which means more oxygen. So it just keeps your baits alive longer. So that's good for yabbies, herring, mullet, um, overnight even, but um, yeah, it works quite well. And you can see within uh, the yabbies there, sitting on the bottom, uh, you can keep them nice and fresh with that air stone. So I hope that little bit of information uh, helps you out there and uh, gets you back on the water and getting those yabbies nice and fresh for your next trip. So uh, until next time, uh, good luck on the water.